second time with HEV and Linda Rossman. I know we're all into the ingredients because you said you're super excited about hatch season. Hatch season's here for a short time. It started yesterday and it runs through Labor Day and we have a lot of items that are here today, gone tomorrow, so we're excited mm. to tell you about what we have right now in the stores. All right. All right. In the cooking connection, we have some of the hatch items that are going to be buy one, get one free. I've got a nice little peach pepper sauce with hatch. I'm going to put that in a chicken breast with a little bit of cream cheese, mozzarella, and then the pepper sauce. And for TV time, I have already mixed it up. You're going to butterfly your chicken breast, put the filling in, fold it over, and then a little of this hatched ranch on top. I'm going to bake it in the oven. Recipes are on click2houston.com. And when we finish, we're going to go ahead and put a little peach sauce on just to change it up to do something different with that hatch sauce besides just putting it over cream cheese. We love the harissa. Again, that's one of those items that we see a lot during hatch. It can go on anything from shrimp to um, steaks. And this has a little um, cilantro, but it's not too hot. Oh, I love cilantro. Wow. Okay. But not too much of a kick. Not too much of a kick. So you can put it on anything from a taco to steak to even your shrimp. Okay. Well, and this is a topping after? It can be used after. I don't usually use it as a marinade. It's more of a finishing sauce. Okay. And it's in a small jar, so they seem to go quick. So grab them, take them all you can while they're buy one, get one free. <laughs> Excellent. I love this. We have this green chili stew and a hatch tortilla soup. They are by um, two for 12. And I always do an enchilada casserole with it. But with football season coming, we did a little of the easy melt cheese with the green green chili. We're going to go ahead and add ground beef in there and pico de gallo. So now we've got something to snack on with all the Texans games coming up and we are in the hatch mood with it. I do pick up the mild pico de gallo just because I don't want it too hot. Again, cooking connection, two for $12, just something that's nice to have in your pantry. And of course, we can't forget like the hatch mac and cheese or even our shredded chicken. Those are things that are here today, gone tomorrow. I freeze them and keep them all year. And also who can forget bacon. We all love bacon. <laughs> and so we also have a hatch bacon. Linda, you better not forget the bacon. What are you talking about? <laughs> One question back to this stew that you're talking about. Yeah. When you added the pico de gallo, do you add it right when you add the, the meat or do you hold off? You it? can put it in there um, when you do the meat, but the trick is on this one, warm up your sauce first, then put your cheese in so it doesn't drop to the bottom and scald. So it has a little heat and it's going to quickly start to melt. Then you can add your meat and your pico and within minutes it should be done and grab some chips like those hatch tortillas chips and snack away. Well, since it's limited, you better get out there to HEV. Thanks a lot, Linda.